Um, what was Martin Yesterday about? Martin Yesterday is about a, a gay cartoonist and his uh, straight best friend, and uh, the gay cartoonist is exploring the world of gay men sort of for the first time, and it's in the period of, uh, of HIV and AIDS, and um, he ends up dating a, a well-known, uh, prominent uh, Toronto politician who's HIV positive, but mm -hmm. finds out that um, this politician has infected other people with HIV without telling them about it prior to the play happening and their relationship happening. So it's a, an examination of uh, the gay community's responsibility and lack thereof during the AIDS crisis. And uh, in the way that poor Superman was kind of about the wonderful things that we discovered when uh, AIDS happened and we had to support one another, Martin Yesterday is about the exact opposite, and it's about the horrible negative things that happened mm -hmm. because of HIV. And that was, you know, 98, uh, we didn't want to talk about bareback sex. We didn't want to talk about that stuff then. A lot of people were very upset by it, and then a lot of my, you know, my straight audience was very upset because they were excluded from the play. And then other people were very upset because there were cum shots and uh, sodomy and uh, naked guys showering and really graphic sexual moments in the play, but I thought with what I'm talking about and the fact that I'm doing this at like the world's biggest gay theater, mm -hmm. someone should probably understand that I'm speaking to a very specific audience, but that wasn't what happened at all. I've never had, I've had bad reviews in my life. I've had really many, many bad reviews. I have never had bad reviews on the level of the Toronto reviews for that show, where, where the Globe and Mail the next morning, half page front of the entertainment section, the headline is Brad Fraser, Yesterday's Man. Right. Uh, and also to the whole article in the, uh, about you and funding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that had all just happened and it was all very fresh. What did you, you were nominated for Chalmers and you won a Chalmers. I won two Chalmers awards. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What were they for? I, I won for uh, Remains and for Superman. Mm -hmm. um, uh, first off, what was it like when you, um, what was it like when you heard about the first Chalmers award? What was it like? How did, how did it that was play? amazing because I, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even mm -hmm. know the Chalmers Award existed, and it had a ten thousand dollar cash prize. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd won a number of awards before that, but none, never any cash awards, and never to that degree. And they flew us into town and put mm -hmm. us in hotels, and there was a big ceremony, and we got champagne and lovely prizes, and woohoo! I was really into that. That was mm -hmm. great. And then the second one, uh, there was a bit of a controversy afterwards because they closed down the Chalmers, like. Yeah, happening? and it was something to do, and didn't they also change the, um, the Dora voting at that time yeah. too? And they both had to do with poor Superman winning things and people hating me and thinking it shouldn't have won because of what I had said about arts funding. So explain that. Like I, I don't know it. I don't know it. Like you probably hear more than I do because mm. of course these things are all happening back there and frankly, mm. I don't really care, <laughs> you know, like stories about mm. me. Yeah, I've got my own stories, you mm. know, you have a field day. I mean, I'd heard rumors or whatever, but I, and I, I still to this day don't understand uh, 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 what the issue was. But, I, it, you know, the idea was that you're just a, uh, you're a firebrand in the community and you don't say necessarily what people want to hear and you don't no, care. No, why would I? And that's never been even a concern of yours. No. So does that, has it, do you think that's affected you negatively? Oh yeah, within the community, absolutely. I mean, I'm not really a part, I mean, go to Edmonton. I mean, Edmonton, I've never won. Mm -hmm. one of their local theater awards and we've done you know we've done wolf boy we've done poor superman we've done unidentified human remains of, and the nature of love we've done kill me now you know which is you know one of the best plays i've ever written it's never won best play i've never won best director although i've been nominated and i these are people that i basically grew up with i mean it's sort of the same thing here in toronto but the thing is I don't want to be part of the theater community. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hang out with actors. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hang out with directors. I don't want to go to house parties where they all sleep with each other and then remarry in different mm -hmm. configurations. I don't want to sit around and talk about what they did last year. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it is, for me, I find it really, it's, it's not to say I don't have friends within the theater, within the, in the entertainment industry, because I do, I have very good friends, but they tend to be, uh, few and selective, my really close friends in the business, and it's because I don't want, first of all, I find, especially theater people, but you know, anybody in the entertainment world, they're kind of weird, they're kind of needy, I'm sorry your parents didn't love you enough, and all of that kind of stuff, but there's a, a certain ego thing that's going on all the time that they're feeding one another that I don't really buy into, and I also think, 
it's detrimental to the theater itself. I think, and I think we see this a lot now, where people are creating theater that only really appeals to other theater people, mm -hmm. and the audiences are getting smaller and smaller because we're not reaching out and bringing people who aren't theater people into it. And the more, uh, uh, the, the less funds there are, the more we have to compete with one another for money and that kind of thing, uh, the more difficult it gets to expand and reach out because everybody's trying to hang on to that little bit coming in, and who's giving out that money? other uh, theater people sitting on a jury, right? Yeah. So I think it's a really uh, dangerous thing and I think it creates a, a, an incestuous kind of theater that lives in a very small universe and mm -hmm. I want theater that is very expansive mm -hmm. and lives in a bigger universe and my whole thing from the very beginning of my career is bringing my outside influences in mm -hmm. and trying to get that to happen in the theater which is what I think makes it exciting but it's also what a lot of other people resist.